Great sand, warm water. Snorkelers will be very, very happy here and could easily spend all day in the water. It capitalizes on these natural resources and they offer every kind of boating experience. Also great for divers. We are in the remote islands of French Polynesia, in a tropical paradise known for its incredible marine wildlife. It's easy to overlook what the land, Fenua in Tahitian, has to offer. Even Darwin during his voyage on the Beagle didn't have much to say about the uh, terrestrial species of Tahiti. He was actually more concerned about the processes of coral reef formation. The general perception is that overall the land is not species rich, uh, it lacks many groups that are really common in continental fauna. So one might find that species composition is not interesting. Well, this couldn't be further from the truth. Actually, birds are the only large vertebrates to have colonized French Polynesia. They came from distant Australia and New Guinea. And here they found the perfect set of islands to thrive through adaptive radiation. This resulted in high levels of endemism. Each archipelago has its own set of species and they can't be found nowhere else on Earth. Including what we came for, the blue lorikeet, the Vini Peruviana. Actually, there are three species of Polynesian lorikeets, each one of them on its respective archipelago. Les trois loris se répartissent selon trois zones, euh, géographiquement en parlant et de manière climatique, si l'on prend en considération euh, le, le taux d'hygrométrie. Hein. Le loricool se place à Rimatara, Tereina, l'île de Washington Island, au Kiribati, et Atu, au Cook Island. Le loric tramarin se trouvait sur toutes les îles des Marquises, hormis l'île de Wahuka. Et donc pour finir, le Vini Peruviana, qui était autrefois appelé la perruche bleue de Tahiti, qui se trouvait sur l'archipel de la société, euh, visible encore sur Sili et Montpellia, et sur de nombreux atolls des Tuamotu. This is David Proya. He runs a conservation project for Polynesian lorikeets. With a background as a high-performance athlete, he's not your typical conservationist. But more on that later. Leur différence provient aussi de leur, leur, leur rareté, c'est aussi leur dimension. Ils sont aussi gros qu'un point, donc ils sont très vulnérables. Ils se nourrissent essentiellement de nectar et de pollen. Donc ils butinent les fleurs de, de bananier, de goyavier, de cocotier. But lorikeets are more than just colorful birds. As I was learning about them, I realized they held significant cultural importance. Take the example of the Kool's lorikeet. Ce, ce, cet oiseau était tellement valorisé, tellement sacré, dégageant une telle puissance que cette plume pouvait servir à confectionner ces, ces capes, tout ce qui était ornement, ces ceintures de plumes rouges, pour symboliser, incarner euh, euh, la puissance. It was called the Maro Ura. This red belt was a supreme symbol of power for a chief. For millions of years, lorikeets and other birds evolved here without any large reptiles, birds of prey or mammals. In these islands, they were free from any predator. But when European ships first arrived during initial contact, roof rats were introduced in many islands. Roof rats pose a serious threat to lorikeets, as they're able to climb up trees, invade their nests, and eat their eggs. When we see that around the cocotier, we have a multitude of multitude de cocotes percés, comme ça, c'est vraiment un signe distinctif. Il est là pour grimper. En haut de, du cocotier, c'est la particularité du rat noir. Seul le rat noir est en capacité de monter au cime des arbres. Il décroche les cocos verts. Une fois au sol, euh, le rat s'en charge et vient à bout euh, de son contenu. It is very evident. 
and islands infested by roof rats, lorikeets no longer exist. Les Polynésiens vivent du copra et donc quand tu t'aperçois qu'une production peut être réduite de 50%, bah c'est fâcheux. Donc on, on met en péril euh, euh, l'économie de l'île euh, sans compter les problèmes sanitaires. On est sur un problème environnemental, mais d'un problème environnemental, on en vient à un problème de santé publique parce que le rat, il, il est euh, vecteur de maladie, tout simplement. As the roof rat took over French Polynesia, lorikeets ceased to exist in most of the islands they once thrived. The Tahitian lorikeet no longer flies over the mountains of Tahiti. Power is no longer represented by the Marouda, and its bright red feathers have lost their shine. As they vanished from most islands, Polynesian lorikeets faded from collective memory. But there's still hope thanks to a newly born hero named Atlas. <laughs>